Hey everybody, I'm Batman, and today we're going to review my Batwing, so stay tuned for an awesome toy review. And where are the drugs? Where are they? Okay, everybody, this is the toy review on the Batwing that I had as a kid, um, and uh, I apologize if my cat jumps up and gets in the way. Uh, or if the Batman figures fall, some of them don't stand up very well, so you'll have to bear with me. But uh, yeah, this is the Batwing in question. Um, I remember my mom had a day home growing up, and one of the kids had this toy. And it was around the time that I was starting to get a little older. I, I can't remember how old. I think I might have been maybe 12. And uh, I just I saw this thing, and I thought it was so cool... I, I had a really good play with it. I remember uh, it came with this Batman, uh, which doesn't come with the Batwing. Uh, it just so happened that this, these were the toys the kid had. And uh, I had such a good play time with these toys. I, I, I asked for it for Christmas and I got it. And, um, and yeah, so it has become a, um, a, a good memory of mine. And that's why I make these videos, to just go over what these toys mean to me and um, how they came about in my life. So this Batman, again, didn't come with the Batwing, but uh, for me, he belongs with the Batwing. And I'm not sure why this guy's purple with the red. Um, I didn't have him with any accessories or anything, so that's what I have today. And... Um, I'm super excited to go over this Batman with you. This Batman is the real deal. This guy would be uh, Michael Keaton, I guess, from Batman Returns, I believe. If I have that wrong, please comment in the comment section. But uh, we'll put this guy down for now, and here's Rupert to join us. I knew he was going to come and say hello. <clears throat> so I got this guy online, and uh, he's got the retractable belt which is super awesome. I remember playing with this guy in like grade two, maybe even grade one, but a long, long time ago. Um, <clears throat> and I was lucky enough to find one with the cape. And you can take the cape off and put the cape back on. And this Batman is actually in really good shape. If you can see, his face does need a little bit of touching up. So I did buy some black paint and paint brushes. And in a different video, I'm going to start to touch up some of these toys um, and just make them a little bit better um, and yeah, touch up some of the scratched paint. So that's for another video. But this is the 1988 Batman and, uh, you know, it should be hard pressed to try and top this Batman as far as action figures go. In my heart, this guy is definitely first. But, uh, well, I, I don't know, yeah, first or second, these two mean a lot to me. We'll just say that. Uh, I did find this Batman here, Super Retro, at a flea market as well. And um, I think this guy is also 1988. Um, if you guys know for sure, please comment. But I think it was this Batman first, and then they made the Michael Keaton Batman. So... Uh, this was pro probably from the cartoons, I would imagine, and then the, the live feature film, they stepped it up a notch and they went to the black Batman. So there's that. These guys don't stand up, so I'm just going to lay them down over here. Um, same with this one. I have Robin in the background. Robin, um, I loved the Batman and Robin movies. And so I know a lot of people don't, but uh, this is my channel and what it means to me. So I always really loved Robin and his mask is also almost gone. So I'm going to be touching his mask, his mask up with some black paint as well. So we'll put him back here. And then we have a uh, McDonald's Batman got him in a Happy Meal or something one day a uh, long, long time ago. So he is also part of the collection. But... Now we're gonna get into the Batwing portion of things. 
So I'll stop the video and I'll just set it up and we will kind of do a reset. All right, everybody. So this is the bat wing in question. I believe this guy was made in 1998. If I'm not correct on that number, feel free to let me know in the comments. And um, this is probably gonna be the first portion of the video I make and then I will show everybody the, uh, the action figures or vice versa. But um, yes, this is the bat wing and it can fold out and that's what she looks like. I think it is beautiful. I think it is badass. And as a kid, I remember playing with this thing for hours and hours. Um, it's really, really cool too because um, the back portion pops out and that turns into, I believe, a motorcycle, right? Motorcycle. And then you've got the bat wing, of course, that flies. And you can actually take off the wings like this and it all comes apart and this is the boat right here i believe it's bat which one is it now batman returns i believe so this is the boat portion right here and the motorcycle portion can come and go right up inside and it all clicks together like that this portion opens up and then you would put the Batman inside like that. <clears throat> okay, so that's how that goes. And then you can simply click the wings back on like so. I'll do the other one. And yeah, as a kid, Oh, he's not properly sitting, so we won't close that. But as a kid, you could only imagine how amazing this thing is. Oh, there's Rupert. Good timing. Go on, go on. So you could only imagine how much fun this would be for kids to play with. Um, and in the 90s, again, I just have to reiterate how awesome the toys were in comparison to today uh, with these top figure toys. They're absolute garbage. Look at the quality of this toy in regards to a Topps figure. I, I, I'm disgusted by these top toys. I hate them so much. Um, but it just goes to show that I am old school. And uh, yeah, man, I'm like 37 years old or building these toys that I played with when I was like, you know, a teenager and younger. So, um, I really love making these videos. This is a big one. I, I've been waiting a long time to make this video. I actually just got this Batman in the mail not too long ago. So I kind of held out for him, even though this was the OG for me. This Batman was the original um, and I had so much fun with him in this toy. So that is my Batman setup right here as a kid. Uh, it means so much to me and it means so much to me to be able to make these videos for you guys uh, I just love it and uh, it's hard to stay on top of making these videos But um, I'm going to try my best to pump some out here in the coming weeks and keep this channel alive Some of my videos are actually doing really well. So I hope this is going to be one of them and uh, How could it not be? I wish I did have some more um, information on the toy for you guys. It, it was made in 1998, I do know that. And um, I believe it was based on the Batman Returns movie with the Riddler. If I have that correct, there's been lots of Batman movies now, so please um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the Batwing, and uh, that was my Batwing review. So stay tuned, you guys. There's a lot more videos coming up, and I can't wait to pump them out for you.